Oh, this is from CNN. Published February 15th, 2021. This is from CNN. This is not from a right-leaning source. People are serious. New York Democratic leaders are discussed repealing Cuomo's expanding, <laughs> expanded powers. Oh, my God. Who spicy meat. That is some spicy give me meat. a good old rub. You got to give your meat a good old That's rub, it. man. Spicy, nice spicy. And nice and hot. Hot. Spicy hot. meat. Spicy meat. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Whoo. Things are about to get real spicy up in here. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? New York's Democratic leaders are in active discussions to draft the bill to repeal Governor Andrew Cuomo's expanded executive powers after a top aide's damaging admission about COVID-19 nursing home deaths. There's momentum moving in the direction of removing his powers, a source told CNN. A source said there was, was support for the removal of Cuomo's expanded powers before the aide's comments were made public, but now it's definitely going to happen. A bill is likely to be, in, to be introduced this week into the state legislature and voted on early next week. Democratic leaders and legislators have broad support from lawmakers to pass a bill when it is put to a vote. The move comes after Cuomo's top aide, Melissa DeRosa, Admitted in a call with state lawmakers that the administration tried to try to try to delay the release of data on COVID-19 deaths in the state's long-term care facilities. Cuomo on Monday said there was no connection between the nursing home questions and his emergency powers. He said his COVID-19 legal actions are only to protect the public. Press F the doubt, guys. Press F the fucking doubt. That's bullshit. Stop lying. That's bullshit. Stop lying. You fucking clown. Enough from the clown. I don't believe that shit for a fucking second. Andrew Cuomo, you fucking clown. Enough from the clown. These are public health decisions, he said. They are not local political decisions that they have been made on a public health basis. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Enough from the clown. Last week, DeRosa, secretary to Cuomo, told state lawmakers that the state had been concerned about a Department of Justice preliminary in inquiry into COVID-19 deaths in New York nursing homes, as well as, as as attention from former President Donald Trump, who was tweeting about Cuomo and other, another other Democratic governors' handling of the nursing homes, according to the transcript, which was released by Friday, which was released Friday by the governor's office. Give your meat a good old rub. Mm. That's it. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Spicy meat. This is some spicy. This is a spicy meatball. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? This is a spicy meatball. <laughs> this is some spicy shit, isn't it? The Democrats going after him. No, these aren't Republicans. These aren't Republicans going after Cuomo. These are Democrats going after him because Cuomo fucked up big time. I told y'all, Gavin Newsom and Andrew Cuomo, they are vulnerable, baby. They are vulnerable, baby. And basically we froze because then we were in a position where we weren't sure if, if what we were going to give to the, to the Department of Justice or what we give to you guys, what we start saying was going to be used against us while we weren't sure if there was going to be an investigation, DeRosa said on the call. Oh, 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 yeah, boy. Tell me that's not a spicy meat ball. Do I not give you the spiciest shit? Listen, do you understand what this bitch is fucking admitting to? She's admitting to covering up COVID-19 nursing home deaths because they were afraid of the Department of Justice. A report released in late January from State Attorney General Letitia James found the New York State, State Department of, of Health undercounted COVID-19 deaths among residents of nursing homes by, by about 50%. 50% mean that of, of all the nursing home deaths, right? Up to 15%, up, up to half of them were not actually reported by the state of fucking New York because of Andrew Cuomo and his freaking aide even, even saying, I'm going to read that statement one more time. I'm going to highlight it here. I'm going to highlight it here. Oh my, I told y'all, Andrew Cuomo and Gavin Newsom in California are two governors who are very vulnerable. This is what uh, Melissa DeRosa, the secretary to Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York. This is what, what she um, said on a phone call. I'm, I'm quoting her word for word here. 
And basically we froze because then we were in a position where we weren't sure if what we were going to give to the, to the Department of Justice or what we give to you guys, what we start saying was going to be used against us while we weren't sure if there was going to be an investigation. DeRosa said on the call. Bruh. Mm. You know, it's times like these. It's times like these that I remember just how much of a giant piece of fucking shit Andrew Cuomo truly is. It's times like these where I'm reminded of how much of a giant piece of fucking shit Andrew Cuomo truly is. Andrew Cuomo couldn't give a fuck. If your grandma dies in nursing home, Andrew Cuomo couldn't give a fuck. If the manner in which your loved one dies is not even reported so that they could prevent it from happening to anyone else's loved ones. Andrew Cuomo didn't give a shit. It should show people that it doesn't matter if it's a Democrat or Republican. Politicians don't give a fuck about you. Right? Because here's, here's what Andrew Cuomo said. Now, mind you, what his fucking aide said, right? This piece of fucking shit. But here's what Andrew Cuomo's claim. It's political bias. Cuomo says inquiry is politically motivated. Bitch, they're fucking... Hold on, wait, wait. I'm going to read, read, read the goddamn headline one more time. I'm fucking highlight that shit, right? You claim it is politically motivated, right? The inquiry, right? You're a Democrat, Andrew Cuomo, and yet New York Democratic leaders discuss repealing Cuomo's expanded powers and backlash to COVID-19 nursing home deaths. These are fucking Democrats coming after you, you dumb fuck. I, I'm not even going to read that stupid ass shit. Right? Right. But you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna read it. I'm going to read it. I'm, I'm just going to go over it to show you how, how much of a bullshit artist Andrew Cuomo is. Let me tell you what you're about to experience. You're about to experience a nigga moment. Guaranteed. Watch this. Cuomo says inquiry is politically motivated. The revelations undermine Cuomo's self-hyped reputation as a straight shooter. Home during Dilly press conferences last spring as a novel coronavirus rampage through New York. His, his communicative approach provided a clear contrast to Trump's lies and false assurances that the virus was under control and would disappear. Cuomo on Monday defended his administration's actions, explaining that they paused the state lawmakers' request for nursing home data because they prioritized the Department of Justice inquiry. He said the states the he said that the state assembly and house were were both told about this at the time. How about you give you know what? That's bullshit. Stop lying. Nigga, that's that bullshit. You, you you couldn't do fucking both. You couldn't give the data to both the Department of Justice and also to your home state. I mean, if numbers are numbers and numbers don't lie, what's the problem with giving numbers to anybody? Suppose that I'm a private citizen and I do a fucking FOIA request, you know, a freedom of information request, which is a very common thing that, that, that private citizens do, but, but primarily journalists, because uh, under the freedom of, of, freedom of, 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 um, of Information Act, Unless something is classified, you can you can request it be unclassified, and they generally give you the information that you're looking for. If you're sending an, a, a, a request to a government agency, it doesn't it doesn't work on anything private? But government, it usually works, right? So suppose I'm a private citizen, and I, and I just want to know about nursing home deaths. I want to do my own research because again, I want to be an informed citizen. Would you tell me no? And then why? In a statement Friday, DeRosa sought to, to further explain her admission on the call with lawmakers. I was ex hold on, wait, wait. You're about to experience a nigga moment. Check out this line, bitch here. Check out the the fucking political spin. It's it's just mwah, beautiful. Mwah. I love it. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Watch this, watch this shit. You're about to experience a nigga moment. I was explaining that when we received the DOJ inquiry, we needed to temporarily set aside the legislator's request to deal with the federal request first. We think we informed the houses of this at the time, she said. We were comprehensive and transparent in our responses to the DOJ and then had immediately and then had to immediately focus our resources on the second wave and vaccine rollout. You can't send a fucking email with numbers, bitch. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Nigga, that's that bullshit. You couldn't send an email with numbers, bitch. They're talking about nursing home deaths. They're asking for numbers. You couldn't send that? Hmm? You want me to believe, right? You want me to believe. You 
It seems to me a strange. It seems to me a strange thing. You want me to believe that you can send emails to both your, the the New York State legislator and also the Department of Justice, right? You couldn't you couldn't just 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 put more than one email in the fucking email tagline, huh? You sent off the email. You couldn't you could just do that, right? I mean, it's COVID nineteen, so people don't don't do a whole lot of shit in person. People do a lot of emails now, so you couldn't do email, huh? That's what you want me to believe. That's bullshit. Stop lying. In recent months, in recent months, Cuomo has repeatedly sought to dismiss questions about a data on nursing home deaths as a political attack. Nigga, that's that bullshit. You're talking about the death of old, vulnerable people. You shithead. Right? You shithead. People want to know about that. The American people want to know about that. People are paying your salary with their fucking tax dollars when they ask you a question, bitch. You fucking answer me, you piece of shit. You don't give me, well, I, I, I got it. No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. Get the goddamn numbers and you fucking send them. You corrupt shithead. Okay? What I would say is everyone did the best they could. When I say the state, the State Department of Health, as the report said, the State Department of Health followed federal guidance. So if you think there was a mistake, then go walk to the to the to, then go talk to the federal government. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Nigga, that's that bullshit. Bruh. It's not about pointing fingers or blame. It's that this became a political football right. Look, whether a person died in a hospital or died in a nursing home, it's people died. People died. But people want to know the fucking manner in which they die. That way they can analyze the numbers, you fucking shithead. If you give the DOJ um, um, wrong numbers or you give state leaders the wrong numbers or as your own, listen, Listen, right? As your own state attorney general, Letitia James, found out that the State Department of Health undercounted COVID-19 deaths. That's a problem, you fucking corrupt scumbag, Andrew Cuomo. And it's not Republicans going after you. It's fucking Democrats. It's Democrats going after you. It's not Republicans. It's Democrats. So how are Republicans responsible for Democrats going after you? Your own party fucking hates you. Because everyone knows you're fucking corrupt. Everyone knows you're a piece of shit. Everyone knows you're a fucking bully. If no one likes you. This is why right now your approval rating is fucking shit. People want you gone because people don't want to keep paying their tax money to a shithead. Which is more than understandable. Right? More than fucking understandable. Right? More than understandable. Who wants to keep paying their fucking tax dollars to a goddamn shithead who doesn't care about them? Who wants to keep doing that, huh? Who wants to keep doing that? I don't. I'm not even in damn, damn, damn New York. And man, if I was, I'd be pretty fucking angry that, I, that, that my tax dollars are going towards your fucking salary. Because you are a giant piece of fucking shit, Andrew Cuomo. And your own party has turned against you. Your own party. Which tells me something. The same way that Trump has to learn that when your own party is turned on you, there's probably a goddamn problem. Andrew, your own party wants you investigated. Your own party wants your powers to be fucking removed. Andrew Cuomo. That's not Republicans doing that. You did that to yourself. You did that to your fucking self, you asshole. You did that to your fucking self. Don't blame Republicans for that. You did that to your fucking self, you goddamn asshole. You had your State Department underreport COVID-19 deaths in nursing homes, people's grandmas, people's grandpas, people's loved ones, people's mima, papa, you know, loved ones, people who are near and dear to people, right? And your Justice Department... Sat there, right? And your, your fucking State Department of Health underreported the goddamn numbers. And your own state attorney general, L L fucking Letitia James, a proud black woman. Good job, sister. Good job for calling out your fucking State Department of Health. Good job, sister.
Good job. Give that sister a round of a goddamn applause because guess what? She has, she has held Andrew Cuomo and that State Department of Health to the fucking fire. Good job. Good work, sister. Good work. Your own fucking state attorney general and your own Democratic Party is turning against you, Andrew Cuomo, because you are a corrupt piece of shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. I hope, I hope you get kicked out of goddamn office and you never hold office ever again. I hope you are brought on goddamn charges for the shit that you're fucking responsible for, you piece of shit. That's people's fucking loved ones. People's loved ones. You fucking asshole.